All right, I'm a little bit late to this and it's also a bit early in the morning, but here's how to get Velveal. And it's pretty simple, although if you're in a public server, this might take a while at the moment as everyone's trying to get it because you need to find five bell fragments and bell fragments can be found in barrels across the map. So, you know, just look through barrels, find five fragments. And then, after you get those five fragments, you're gonna wanna craft the bell at the factory uh, near the lava. The factory can be found uh, right here, this building in the forest. And in order to craft that bell, you are going to need metal tongs. It has been quite a long time since I've really played this game, so I don't remember how you get that, but going off the Etheriopedia wiki, the metal tongs are apparently found near some crates in the lab, the dark lab or whatever it was called. But after you craft that bell, you want to go to three towers, find the bell located near the tower or on the tower and use your bell next to it. These towers, I just hit my keyboard, these towers are the, uh, the lighthouse over here near the snowy area. The, I think this is the clock tower here, which is, you know, next to this tree, the desert and everything. And then the church in this little tower here. You want to find the, the little bell ribbon thing. It'll be somewhere. And then you want to go into your bag and use the bell next to it. And then if it worked, the bell ribbon should disappear. And then after ringing the bell at all the locations, which I don't think there's an order to that, by the way, so you should be fine. But you will unlock the Ethereum Velveal here. And, you know, got all its little animations and such. You even have swimming animations, of course. And then it evolves into Samaring at level 37. And finally, in its final evolution, into Shogong at level 65. Yeah, that's basically the whole thing. And I gotta say, really great Ethereum. It's funny that this Ethereum has been in the works for like three years now. But, you know, great to finally see it added into the game. Don't know what this means for new content in terms of Monsters of Etheria, but who knows? I'm just lucky I'm able to be able to even still record these videos at the moment. Um, anyway, yeah, I gotta say the animations, really smooth, really high quality. And it's genuinely like one of the best Ethereans in the game right now. So yeah, kudos to all the devs for finally putting a new Ethereum into the game. And I hope, I hope we get to see more stuff for this game come out. But yeah, that should be all for now. And I'll see you again next time.